What's going on, family? It's TC with Build and Destroy Daily. I'm back again to help you guys learn how to hang a heavy bag in your garage or in any space that has a truss ceiling above. Before we get any further, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get these numbers up, trying to do big things, and I need your help to do it. I went to a sporting goods store, Dick's Sporting Goods, and got a 100 pound heavy bag, and I wanted to hang it in my garage, okay? This is pretty much the easiest way I know how to do it and to make it as sturdy as possible. The reason I chose a 100 pound heavy bag is because of my weight. I'm around 210, 210 pounds, and they have suggested weights for each size heavy bag. If you're a smaller person, you can go with the 70 pounder. It's a little bit cheaper and um, it'll get the job done for you. First thing we wanna do is cut a hole in our ceiling to make everything easier when we wanna go put that two by four up there. Some people who hang heavy bags, they decide to drill directly into whatever ceiling structure is above and hang the heavy bag from that. I don't prefer that method. I prefer to, you know, use a two by four and span it across the space between two trusses so that I can stabilize it while not causing too much damage to the ceiling structure itself. So this is the hanging hardware here. There is instructions that come with it and it is also sold separately from the heavy bag. So make sure you purchase this. Again, I wanted to stabilize this as much as possible. So I did not use the lag bolts that came with the hardware. I decided to use some through bolts because with movement, you don't want those lag bolts to start to back out of that wood. Unboxing the heavy bag here. What I, what I found out is that it came with a very disappointing 12 inch chain. My, with my ceiling heights around 10 feet in the garage, I needed a much longer chain. So I had to head over to Home Depot to buy about four and a half feet of chain. Home Depot is like my favorite store right now. So I wasn't opposed to making that trip. And this is the chain I decided to go with, a 450 pound working load chain. It is $1.41 per linear foot. I cut it myself and checked out, came back home, you know, cleaned up the area where we're going to be drilling our holes. Also, we wanna patch this up later, so I wanted to get it as clean as possible. Replacing that 12 inch chain with the four foot chain. Again, be careful if you need help, get some help to lift this heavy bag. It is no joke. You wanna hook those, those J clamps up and you wanna test it by just gently letting it hang there. And of course, we have to clean up before we test our heavy bag out. You, you're going to have some debris, wood, some wood debris, some drywall. You want to clean that up and then you want to get the test in it. This is me in slow motion trying to be a superhero boxer. And, and boxing is just an overall amazing workout, especially if you have some hoodie and sweatpants on. You know, you can get a good sweat workout. The heavy bag is a great workout for boxers or amateurs or people who just want to get a good sweat. And there you have it. That's me hanging the heavy bag. If you have any questions, any more detailed questions about what we did here, this is a very simple thing. I just wanted to show people because when I hung my heavy bag before, some people were asking me at my last house, they were asking me how I did it, what tools I used. It's very simple. The heavy bag was around $110. The hardware was around $30. The chain cost about 10, less than $10. Uh, you know, what more can I say? Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Again, thank you for watching. Peace out.